This is Jordan's vision. Pull up a seat and kick up your feet. Welcome, 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 guys. How are we doing? It's been a while since we've been back on the mystery train, but we are now returning to Only Murders in the Building. Uh, been a couple months since we watched it. Uh, we left on the cliffhanger. Uh, we'll recall in the last episode of the uh, first season, uh, Charles Oliver and Mabel uh, solved the murder of Tim Kono. Uh, before that, um, like Bunny, the uh, board president of the building, uh, tried to you know turn the other residents against them and had them vote to uh, evict the three of them. You know, as if they were the ones actually causing the problem. You know, instead of you know the actual murdering. Yeah, they end up solving the murder, and uh, you know the uh, other residents uh, kind of embrace them and you know go back on that. But Bunny. You know, she's still kind of, you know, I'll find a way to get rid of you guys. And uh, as it turns out, at the end of the episode, it's Bunny who ends up dead. You remember the uh, opening scene of the last season uh, where Charles and Oliver uh, discover Mabel, you know, over the bloody body. We find out at the end that that is Bunny. Mabel's all, you know, it's not what it looks like. And the three of them get arrested for Bunny's murder. And that's the cliffhanger we are left on. Uh, going into season two. So uh, so I'm excited to find out uh, where that goes uh, and, uh, you know, how they get out of this type of thing. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into Only Murders in the Building, season two, episode one. Here we go. Before I get started, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and don't forget, reacting to art is sharing art. Channels like these benefit everyone from the viewers all the way up to the original creators themselves. Also, a reminder, spoilers are likely, so if you haven't seen this episode yet and would like to, please feel free to click off and take care of that first. I'll be here when you get back. But for those of you who are sticking with me, pull up a seat, kick up your feet, and let's watch the second season premiere of Only Murders in the Building, which is titled Persons of Interest. Here we go. We should do our own podcast. Only Murders in the Building. How do I know? Good idea, they oh, should. Charles is all in favor of evicting all three members of Murder, she wrote. There it is. Congrats. You're the most hated person in the building now, you cranky old bitch. Yeah. That means now there should be a lot of suspects, now. right? It's not what you think. Bunny, is that your knitting needle? Yes. Don't say yeah. a fucking word. Coming this uh, fall. Congrats to uh, Davine Joy Randolph, by the way. Uh, the wasn't really familiar with her as, as an actress when I watched the first season, but uh, now she's an Oscar winner, so kudos. To watch uh, Holdover soon. New York City. Who doesn't want to become the talk of the town here? Yeah, you might want to watch how you're getting talked Ooh, about, but yeah. Works. You can become famous for doing good things, or you can become infamous for doing truly terrible acts. Whoa, watch out, watch out. Avoid that second one. Whoa. Oh, back to reality. You got no fucking idea how much trouble you're in, do you? Hmm? Huh? He did a murder podcast, I think he kinda knows. Clue. You know, the only thing that could be worse for you two low-hanging, dehydrated scrolls. That's how you really feel. Is if you were yeah, 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 I, I, I don't do podcasts. Yeah, I guess she's the one who was actually start. found with the body. Start. I did try your podcast, yeah. It's, uh, it's absolute shit. They what did a better job solving the murder than you guys did. I wake up, and there's a man standing over me. So I kick him right in the nuts, and I grab my knitting needle. Well, I don't think she kicked Bunny in the nuts. Lawyer. Wait, are you asking for a lawyer? No, I'm asking if you're a lawyer, you know, because you're so smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But what she said was a little funny. Well, you think you're Rodney Dangerfield? Oh, yeah. Oh, who? Who? Uh, she didn't know who Rodney is. I went to get champagne, and Bunny was just there. That's all I remember. Oh, oh shit. Oh. This is bullshit. <sighs> Good cop, bad cop, anyone? Story, there's more fucking holes in your story than we have in our victim, and that's a lot of fucking holes. Eight fucking holes, to be exact. Eight with a knitting needle? Fuck you. Lawyer. Was it kind of illegal that they kept talking after she said lawyer? You hated Bunny, right? The board president who wanted you out of the building because you couldn't pay your rent, right? Now that I think of it, I have had my doubts about Mabel. Yeah, so now he throws Mabel under the bus. Season nine, when the budget got cut and we could only afford to shoot in interrogation rooms, so I know your tricks. Sounds like a riveting season. I think the two way you're looking for is on this wall. <laughs> He was right, but wrong mirror. What did you do with the knife? Knife? Yeah. There's a knife. So you have three people who solved two crimes that you couldn't figure out, who are now clearly being framed, and you don't even have the real murder weapon? Yeah, who's got holes now? Wow, look at this. Oh, front page. They cropped me out? Oh, Such no. bullshit. You know, I'm also involved in this. Focus. Oliver wants his fame too. You are all 
persons of interest now. Thank you. Meaning that we can't charge you yet. That means no investigating. That means no fucking podcast. More, please tell the tiny one to stop recording <laughs> me. All of our this yeah. is your ticket. Get a new hobby now. I do not give a damn what it is, just as long as it doesn't land you in jail. Like knitting? All right, don't be a smart ass. This whole no podcast thing is going to be great for the podcast. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, he's ecstatic about it. Not the thing you want to celebrate. All right. That's still bunny outside. They didn't change the intro. Sting's rain sticks. I wonder if we're going to see Sting again. Like your beats? She's not wearing her beats. The bunny was just... There, I think. You think? Never got long, but still. Mm -hmm. Poor bun bun. That place, right? I mean, if you, oh, you, you know, for the podcast, for, you know, we have a we have a real opportunity. Here. No, no, you heard Detective Williams. We can't get tied into. I can't. Oliver, stop! Yeah. <laughs> I'm still recording. I Jeez. Did you guys hear the bunny was stabbed with a knife? The cops don't have. Yet? Wait a minute! It wasn't just yeah. a knitting needle. That's huge. Look. Oh, guys, Charles didn't hear it. Have brunch once in a while, or go watch people play chess in the park. Whatever it is, guys, your age are into. Besides, who's the old person here again? Uh, the chest thing, you know. Brunch. Yeah, they're into it. Uh, I can't exactly go home without this. Eh? Yeah, I can't exactly go home without this. Eh? Uh, and they haven't cleaned it up. Wow. <gasps> oh. She black out. Is that all she saw? Weird. And she's got to clean it up? Like, aren't there forensics people who do this? No. The old bulletin board. Hey, Brock. Yeah, no, no, no. Just for questioning. That, that, that probably didn't help my chances of getting work, though, huh? Oh, it's his agent. A reboot? A reboot of Brazos? I guess everyone's doing reboots now. Oh, all the Instagram stuff. Like, that photo's everywhere. Bunny's there, too. Hello, What's Mabel. this? This is Alice Banks from Third Arm Gallery. We're a little artist collective downtown. Uh, maybe you've heard of us. I know this is insane, given all you're going through. A stranger sending you a random video message, but... Just a bit. I really love your mural, and I haven't been able to stop thinking about it. The gallery are having a little opening tomorrow, and we're wondering if you wanted to come. You know, she is a very talented artist. What do you think, Mural Mabel? Do you want millions of people seeing you? Hi, Winnie. Come on, baby. Oh, hold the elevator. Oh. Thanks, lover. Lover. <clears throat> oh, well, hello there, Amy Schumer. What's Amy Schumer? Well, Are you moving into Sting's apartment? Uh, oh, yes. Sting. Oh, is Sting moving right. out? Yeah. I loved him before he was even in the police. Sting's in law enforcement? Uh, yeah. Are you Oliver Putnam? Well, that depends. Oh. Are you suing me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she knows who he is. Uh, wow. Oh, and that must make you Winnie. Oh. Yeah, she knows the podcast. I really enjoyed Only Murders in the Building. Oh, uh, thank you. No, no, much. no. I mean, I really. So much that she moved into the building. You guys just made it feel so cozy. You know, just cozy murder. You know, it's murder, but the nice kind. So just and not afraid of bombing. Just really wasting people's time. Is this still a compliment Reminded or what? Me of my early days. Is there going to be a second season? Well, second seasons are tough, you know. But people keep dying, so I suppose there's True. always a chance. <laughs> Would you ever consider selling me the rights to the podcast so I could turn it into an eight to ten episode streaming series? Amy Schumer wants to make this it a series. A you just had well, I'd be lying if I didn't say I had a 200-page pitch deck floating around my apartment somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably had that for, like, years. And, and uh, don't forget to bring a turkey. Ah, the turkey. Oh. But do bring tequila and ice and a glass. You remember all that? God, I love this building. I love this murdery building. We go on password, and my partner is Betty White, who turns every clue into, like, something naughty. 
<laughs> I have to act outraged. Yeah, that sounds like Betty White. That's why Brazos is so perfect for a reboot. You know, I agree with you because sometimes I'm flipping through the TV and I'm thinking, hey, where are all the cop shows? Yeah, there's still a bunch of cop shows. 18 episodes on CBX. Whoa! Crazy, Ooh. right? With Naomi Jackson. I love her! Who's she playing? She's Brazos. Wait, she's Brazos? And I would be... Uncle Brazos. Okay. Uh, Naomi would be my niece, niece. by marriage. Okay. Or she's a so is he still original Brazos, or...? Honestly, we thought you were dead. The casting director had you listed as N.A. slash dead. And he didn't bother to check. You're the real deal, aren't you? Excuse me? Bloody Mabel. Wow. Here, a uh, quick selfie together? Oh, I... Oh, she's not into this. Hi, Alice. Hi. I'm really glad you came. I'm so glad you're not a catfish. No. <laughs> uh, too I guess that was possible. My dad got me a jigsaw puzzle of Frida when I was four. A thousand pieces. I finished it the day before I turned five. Yeah, that probably would take a long time, especially for someone that age. Better. When I'm that age, I'm doing puzzles of like goofy and stuff. Thank you. I don't just DM any old broad. Hmm. Why me? It's an instinct. And we could use some new energy in our collective. So, this is what? A recruitment? Mm. Total sure. recruitment. You know, Frida didn't have an MFA. She didn't even have two working legs, but what she did have is natural talent and everyone's attention. It's you, Mabel. Ah, uh, she's still getting the stairs. It's not a cult, right? Just bringing paints. Uh -huh. I'm just gonna need to hear you say that it's not a cult. Mm -hmm. Say it. Just out loud. Oh, uh, she doesn't want to say it. Maybe it is. Charles Hayden Savage. Oh, hi. A wash and whose father spent the latter years of his life in and out of prison. Really? You know that. I'm Cindy Canning, bitch. Bloody Wikipedia? The freeloading 20 something who has now been intimately involved in three grisly murders in the same building. And she didn't actually also, do any of the violence. What are you knitting, Cindy? Oh, Indiana. It's nice. The knitting stuff, too. Has a long paper trail of bunny hatred over the years. Doesn't everyone, though? I'm Cindy Canning. So, so now they got competition. She's stealing our format. We did invent that format, right? Not the format. Did they? I was very lucky that my attorney passed away. I thought you said he was disbarred. This is no time for semantics, Charles. She's <laughs> stealing our format. It's, it's a little different. What, what did happen that night? It's all a blur. Do you even know what happened? I think Bunny said something. What'd she say? Fourteen. 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 Room 14? Okay. Floor 14? You need to go full Ollie Mabel here. What the fuck? What? Ollie Mabel. That's our ship name. All our names put into one. Where is the well, Charles in Ollie Mabel? The Charles is silent. He's just shutting him out. We sleep in real quick. We find a clue that isn't us, and then Cinda has nothing. We can't be seen breaking into Bunny's apartment. Cinda finds that out. Everything blows up. Yeah, well, our lives blow up if we all go down for this. And I True. sure as hell can kiss Amy Schumer goodbye. Maybe not a bad thing. Things. We're talking projects. I'll tell you during the Ollie Mabel. Okay, you know you're not using that remotely correctly. It has gotten away from me, yes. Yeah, I yeah. can't lose Brazos. Yeah, well, you know, Uncle Brazos. Kind of a sexy Uncle Brazos. You know, they keep wanting that beefcake thing from me. Is that what and they asked for? My whole life has been defined by this crap. Death. Walking around blood. I'd like to try and be... An artist. And last She'd be night good at it. Finding who really did this. What? Is that Bunny? Are you hearing that too? Okay. Well, that's no, the vent that goes to Bunny's room. But why are we hearing Bunny? The last time I was in a space that small, I'd had too many Cosmos in Vegas and ended up on stage with Penn and Teller. Oh, magic. They were about to saw me in half, and I mean, my bladder was so full, so I felt like an idiot. But okay, I, didn't know I really am. Well, that's one way to empty it. Get out. Ah, uh, it's her bird. Well, I mean, she got it decades ago when birds were the hot Sounds cat. just like her. Before teacup pigs stole their mojo, I just assumed it was dead. Well, you know, the bird outlived her. Listen, since we are here, why don't we just split up and search around? Keep your eyes open for anything that resembles a note. Mm -hmm. Note? Well, notes. 
I may have written a few I'd like to retrieve. Oh, like geez. Like basically how I wanted Bunny to die when she was trying to evict us. Oh, smart. Right. Those could be anything problematic. This bag. Anything, anything with my name on it, knows. Oh, your name's probably all over this place. Oh, wait. Oh, hide, hide, hide. Bunny had a real eye for erotic art. A lot of people didn't know that. I think it's Uma. I'm not surprised. Bunny was a fucking... Oh, Howard. A naked man wrapped around a woman's leg, very balls forward. Hmm, maybe I'll own one Descriptive. someday. Descriptive. Oh, worth a million. Oh, it's not there? There should be a naked man on this wall. Where are the balls, Howard? I don't know. Interesting way to word that. Uh, it was here the day before she died. Where is it? The killer steal the painting? We saw like, maybe we got a motive here now. Check this out. Oh, what? Secret passage? Where does it go? Hell? Let's find out. Hey, if it does go to hell, maybe you can ask Wait, her who killed her. So someone stole a valuable painting from Bunny? The killer? Uma said porny. Are we thinking full frontal? Bondage? Penetrata? I mean, so we know in case we see it. We got a huge clue. We find the painting, we find the killer. Oh, that's a good line, Charles. Say, say that again. <laughs> now, will you stop For the podcast. Just... Oh, so you're just let Cindy Canning tell the story she wants to tell with no pushback? Look, we know she's going to make a killer podcast that makes us all look like killers. Yeah, you got to respond to that somehow. And if she thinks it's us, me, then everyone will think it's you. You still have that murder board? Yeah, she's in. We're back. We've been warned not to speak out or speak our truth. To just let others tell our story. Screw that. Are we here at only murders in the building. We will not be going quietly. Here we go. We're back, baby. What? <laughs> Found a note. Found a bunch of notes, maybe. I want that painting. On a best wishes card. Savage. 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 She naming Charles? It could have been Charles. He was upstairs, right? Like on the balcony. Oh. I, I came home and it was just here. All oh, the paintings. Bunny's painting. Wow. Charles. Is that you? No. Is it? It's my father. It's his father? Hey, that's weird. Alright, well that's episode one, guys. Alright, let's uh, talk about this. Okay guys, well thank you for turning into my video for the uh, season premiere of the second season of Only Murders in the Building. Uh, lots to talk about there. Uh, well, uh, the three of them get taken away and questioned uh, for the murder of Bunny uh, and eventually released. Uh, Detective Williams tells them, you know, no investigating, no podcasting, any of that stuff. Uh, like, don't get yourselves in trouble type of thing. Uh, uh, Charles gets uh, approached to start a reboot of Brazos uh, as Uncle Brazos, I guess. Oliver, meanwhile, meets Amy Schumer, who's moving into the building. Uh, Amy Schumer uh, talks to him about, you know, maybe buying the rights to the podcast. Uh, that doesn't get very far in this episode, but uh, something to watch out for. Uh, and Mabel gets approached uh, by this art gallery uh, to bring your mural there and, you know, bring your art talent there, you know, all that type of thing. Uh, Cindy Canning, meanwhile, uh, starts her own podcast, you know, Only Murderers in the Building, uh, talking about the three of them and their involvement with Bunny, uh, not really knowing what she's talking about. But, uh, yeah, so that's what kind of makes them, you know, want to respond and uh, keep their podcast going, you know, after their original doubts. So uh, that's going. Uh, the painting uh, disappears from Bunny's, uh, which we think uh, could be a possible motive. Uh, and the painting mysteriously, somehow ends up in Charles's apartment, and Charles doesn't know how it got there. So that's where we end episode one on, and uh, yeah, can't wait to get into episode two already, but that is going to be next time. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Check out my sports vlogging channel, Jordan Vlogs. And until next time, this is Jordan saying you can be productive sitting at home on your couch. All you need is a TV, a great catalog, and a vision. This has been Jordan's Vision. Have a good one, guys. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.